What if everything gave bounty? That's what we're here to find out. One and all, welcome back to the AOE4 action. We've got a fun one here, a community game on something I'm calling bounty everything. The way that this works, it's not just about the gold. Anytime you kill a unit or building belonging to another player, you get paid. You get the value of those units. So if you kill a villager, 50 food. You kill a scout, 70 food. You kill a TC, that's going to be 750 resources going your way. You destroy a keep, you will get 900 stone. Vampirism at its finest. Welcome back, everyone. If you want to replicate this, uh, we've done this using the unofficial AGS mod. There is an option in there that lets you set an amount for people to get paid when they kill units. And it can be anything from the natural zero, 0.1 times, one times, four times. We went for a one times modifier. So that means a longbow, if you kill an enemy longbow, you'll get 40 food, 50 wood. We've already had a few experimental games on this. It's crazy. It's incredible. And I think this is exactly the type of things we're missing in the community. So we've been hyped for this right now. This trade out. Gully Deckle, Yoink's Crane. I can't believe this. He came back again. So let's intro some of the players because this is harsh already. <laughs> in the pink, we've got Gully Deckle, a conk level player. Player? Player. Playing as the deli. Right next to them is Kren, our golden legend here. And oh my god, he forces the cancel! Gully didn't realize! <laughs> you bit off more than you could chew here. Kren goes in for the garrison. Our gold legend is destroying the conqueror. Not just him, he's also going to find a kill on bad good dude here as well. So great opening for Kren. Check the resources, by the way. He hasn't gathered anything. Look at what he got. Instead of being that 200 star, he gathered extra and he's already queuing up villages. So this is a really cool game mode. I love this. North side, we've got bad good dude in the red playing as the Ibids. Next to him is going to be update in the yellow as Order of the Dragon. I think we said update was a diamond level, diamond plat level player, if I remember correctly. Uh, over here, we're going to have Rivtal DM in the purple playing as the Delhi. In the center, it's going to be Cisco Good. You know, I like that, that Core done this to himself. This is Core, folks. The rules we have is that every player in the lobby who is above uh, the Platinum rank has to random. Somehow, Core randomed his signature Sif. So it seems more like a fair handicap that he sticks himself in the middle of the map here as the HRE. And well, bad good dude. Oh my god. What? What? Why? I have no clue why you would call it that early. You know what? The, screw up. This is going to be the only person who calls it early. Do you want to know why, folks? Every single other person in this lobby was on the stream and they hit exclamation mark join to, to join. I think this might have just been a random to take that final slot who didn't have a clue what they were doing. And then they just panicked like a headless chicken and GG. Their loss, honestly, I think these micro maps plus this bounty everything is some of the most peak free for all content I've seen. And I'm excited to see what a bunch of these familiar faces can do. Because rounding out, we have also got um, Hosin playing this time as the Mongols in the teal. And then finally, but not least, it's the Trash Banda. Rack Attack, aka Recon, is going to be playing on the Byzantines in the blue. I think Byzantine... Wait. <laughs> uh, Byzantines are kind of broken, right? I just thought about this. Yeah, that... Oh, man. <laughs> if people don't target down recon, I think they're making a mistake here. So the way the bounty everything mod works now is anytime you kill units, you get their value in exchange. But if recon gets late game and he spams out mercenaries, you won't get anything because you don't have olive oil. Dude, that's tricky. I, I, unless they give the standard resources. This is going to be fun to see, actually. I wonder if we've already unintentionally planned for this. And just to confirm people, because I see it asked in chat, you do not get resources for destroying buildings belonging to dead players. Same with units. An interesting Pleco. Have you already tested that then? So they give standard. Okay, so Byzantines aren't too busted. Interesting. Let's see how this plays out. So Hippodrome is coming out. What other tech ups we got? Minework Palace. Yeah, I already know what Core's cool doing. He's going for a Burgrave Rush. I, we've seen a little bit of experimentation. Burgrave rush plays look really strong in this game mode. I wonder how effective it's going to be from a central location like this, though, with all these players that can probably gun down upon you. <laughs> Looks like we're also going to get update going for the mine work. Not too surprised by that. Order the dragon a bit more standard. They've already dropped a Rax, though, so we might immediately start seeing men at arms getting pumped. 
<laughs> I love that Huisin is already over here just denying anyone access on these berries. Still, I don't think Core cares too much, right? He chose a spot. He chose this spot intentionally. It has deer on it. So he's got plenty of food to kind of get him through that early game and get him to the initial minute arms. And if those minute arms can start trading, boom, jackpot. And yeah, fair point being made here. Hosin's playing as the Mongols, so he just got paid 25 food, 25 gold, and 50 wood for killing this mill. <laughs> we, I, we did actually very craft this before we started testing this mode. Is like, would anyone even go for Mongols? Would it be effective? How effective? Against these small value buildings, it's huge. Mongols killing a keep. So Mongols killing a keep, yeah, they'll get 900 stone and then they'll get 50 resources. Anyone killing a keep will get 900 stone. It's, it's someone that I found quite comedian was this idea that someone trips down a keep and then they build their own keep. <laughs> Alrighty then. So Burgrave is going to be cool. He's looking to let loose. Meanwhile, how are we doing over here? Hippodrome spam is coming out. Okay, this is kind of crazy actually. Has he got Expilatoris? I think he has. Recon, come on. Dude, you can you cannot play this without Expilatoris. Think about this, guys. Every villager he kills isn't worth 50 food. It's worth 50 food and 20 gold. I'm surprised he hasn't done that. An interesting question about ranged units uh, OP. We had a few English players. They are decent in the early game. I think Fearus, they can work well, but they aren't the be-all end -all. I actually think people rushing into Castle and getting men at arms looked a lot stronger in the games we tested. <laughs> I love how they're racing to get the resources here. Oh, this is just funny. Here we go. Oh, oh, Recon gets it. He gets the wood. But the food and gold, I believe, did go to uh, Hosen, if I'm not mistaken. Interesting. I, I love the back and forth Pleco's doing in his own brain. He's like, no, Ottoman's OP. Aren't Ottomans always OP? I don't... So, here's the thing, guys. Do you want to know what I think the most broken combo I've seen in bouncy everything is so far. It's Juji slash Chinese. Can you guess why? What's the counter to everything? Unlimited nest of ease. How do you farm all the resources for the counter to everything? Nest of bees killing everything. So, you know, I, we're not going to see it in this game, but oh, actually we could. Because Recon is playing as Byzantines. If he goes for the foreign engineering company, he could just break this game wide open. Like, actually, I, I think it's even better for him, right? If you go for the Nesta Bees plus Limitane, you bust everyone's cheeks wide open. Well, no, I think actually Great Bombards are worse than Nesta Bees. Because Nesta Bees have more saturation, right? Great Bombards can overkill targets. Like, here's the reality. Compared to Nesta, Be like Nesta Bees in qu large quantities, I feel like Great Bombards, right, there's... The saturation, if you go staggered against one, right? Great Bombard's still going to hurt, but I feel like Nesta Bees is going to hurt so much more. It feels so much harder to dodge with staggered with Nesta Bees. I mean, they've got longer range, but I just don't think it's that grand of a difference, especially with playing Juji and you go 9 tower range. Juji with 9 tower range kind of busts it a bit. So... Whose position do we like the most? I should probably put a poll up, actually, now that we've got a, a, a temporary ceasefire, shall we say, between these players. Let me put a prediction up. Uh, so, who's going to win? Is it going to be blue? Is it going to be green? I don't, I don't know if people want to believe in Krent right now. I mean, he's capable of many things, though. Is it going to be teal? Is it going to be broken orange, who I believe has been spamming men at arms? Uh, is it going to be purple? Yellow or pink. I'm going to give you guys one minute to predict. You've seen enough of the game that you should know who your horse is you're going to back by now. Interesting. He went Burgrave and he's built seven minute arms. I think he has some serious food issues, which was kind of my worry this play. You need to trade, right? If you can start trading, it's just more minute arms. Unfortunately, your opponent has built quite a few archers. I say unfortunately, it's not too bad for you. Cool. Coming back now. Oh, <laughs> man. Okay, actually, Hosen's playing a really cool game here. These raids, dude, he's getting paid. The food, worthwhile here. Oh, man, he's not going to stop there either. Cool. He may be learning the hard way why you don't take the center. I mean, in fairness, this is a guy who's called Core. We called him Corner Core for a good reason. 
why he thought the center of the map was going to work out well, I don't know. I think he just saw like Giga Chad Burgrave plays before. He's like, this will be it. Everyone a destruction. <laughs> Hasn't worked out that way, unfortunately. Luckily for him, Pur uh, Purple isn't exactly quick off the line here. So Rift or DM, I think they were, what rank were they? Rift or DM is conk level, actually. So they're a very capable player. I don't know how much Delhi they spam. I feel like most conks know Delhi a little bit, at least. His army isn't exactly scary to, to the Burgrave spam right now. Well, look at that. Find villagers, equal get paid. Krent? Wait, wait, wait what, why is Krent... Was he gathering wood over here? Wait, why is Krent... The green player, that far away. That's crazy. And he leads him over to Hosin. Oh my god, the griefing. That one little snitch. Coral is not getting out of here. Yep, grab it, cool. Grab that. We don't let that leave. Now, he won't get paid for this. From what I can tell, landmarks don't give anything. But if you can at least deny this, no Coral Tide buff is a big boost to you win the fights. Forces the clash in the meantime. Oh, this is bad, actually. I don't think Hosin wants any part of this. Second wave men arms coming. Remember, every single one of these Keshiks, these horsemen going down, fuels the war machine. <laughs> that war machine is pumping. Meanwhile, Freecon is doing shenanigans. Limitane moving in. Gully Deco's not having a good time. Neither is Kren. Oh, man. Kren and Gully Deco wasted so much time attacking each other. Recon was the only true benefactor from this. Now, keep in mind, actually, diving an enemy's base is very dangerous because you're feeding over resources and you're probably not trading, right? Because if it's static defenses, you can't you can't burn things down for the bounty. So you need to be very careful about your timing. It's good to idle out eco, but if it's a long commitment, I find quite often it tends to hurt a player's progress, not help it. Oof. Cruel Tide gone. So like I said, he, he doesn't get paid anything for this, right? Even if you got the final hit on the landmark, uh, you don't get anything from that. Protai flop. And yes, this is the ram nerf we need. Because what happens is people send 10 rams your way, you kill 10 rams, and you send 10 rams their way. <laughs> oh, I love this mod so much. I wouldn't be surprised if someone goes and makes it a separate mod on its own from unofficial AGS. It's so... I actually think it's so enjoyable. I don't know how well it would work on, like, larger maps. I think part of the... The charm of it is the micro maps. In fact, if you are a map creator, I want more micro maps. Reach out to me. Give me your ideas. A really big focus on this channel is coming up with creative community games and also featuring more and more mods. Because I want to get more people in a position where they look and they go, I want to play that too. That looks fun. Like, think about this. We've got gold level players looking and seeing, you know, people like Core in here, Recon in here, Gully Deco, and they're like, I want to play that. That looks fun. That's what I'm aiming for. That's the kind of content. The kind that gives everyone playing. <laughs> and now Riftle DM. Mate, I'm not going to lie. This is this has looked like the most depressing Delhi game I've ever seen. I think he's lacked food this entire time. He went for combat of the defender in the corner. He's dead. I mean, Yellow's even joining in as well. Update. The Order of the Dragon from the north is partying hard. Oof, can he hold on here? I mean, it's a lot of Ghazi, but... Here's the tough part about this, right? If you trade one for one, Core's winning because... He's getting paid more than, than you're getting in return for the men at arms kills. Pretty ugly. And wait, yellow, where did the knights... Wait, what? He, <laughs> oh my god, he's gone in! He's diving into Kor's eco. Yo, if Kor can get these kills, that's so many men at arms. Remember, these cost 480 resources, a lot of food and gold. Looks like you're back away. I think that's the dangerous thing of Order of the Dragon. It's like, if you don't take care of where you position your units, you just chain feed. And all you're doing is you're just like, it's like whenever you play a MOBA and you run down a lane, it's like, oh, why is this guy with 20 kills killing all of us all of a sudden? I don't know. It might be because you've been throwing away double what anyone else would at this point. Has he got the level two? No, he hasn't got the angle services, so. Oh, sorry, wait rivets. Angle services is tier three. So he can die for a while, but like, I mean, eventually Rivetool's going to get paid, right? Sorry, like, we can do that crazy. Eventually, Rooftool's going to get paid, right? You know, I realize whenever I try to do Copium, it sounds more like that character from Malcolm in the Middle. You guys know the one I'm talking about? It was the best ever. 
god, this is no... This is no way to live your life right now, Cool. He's diving one base while getting dove in his own. Harsh game. Luckily for him, Teal isn't partying anymore. Look what's happened. Recon has turned up. Krent, meanwhile, by the way, stuck a kill. <laughs> oh, God. I'd be numb to this right now if I was poor Krent. Oh, boy. Flash coming in. Defense arrow is going to be used. But it's, it's Limitane. It's so many Limitane. I think Hosen's almost dead. Like, how do you fight back against this? I mean, you try to counter Ray, but there's more Limitane. There's always more. And remember, this is pay dirt right now. Recon. He's getting so much food out of this, so much gold. If he can sort his food, this could easily be a tech up. Some of just are in trouble, though. Wait, re Recon. Recon. <laughs> well, he's forced the migration. Garrison is going to come in time. So I think he lost about three or four villages in the end there, gathering on the sheep. Dude, this is so much cavalry. This is absurd. We've got yellow cavalry. <laughs> We've got teal cavalry. <laughs> We've got purple cavalry. And they're all just running around like headless chickens. Meanwhile, the other Delhi player is vibing. Gully Deckle. Okay, this is sick. He's gone home blades. The reason I like home blades here is I genuinely think the way that you win this mode is about trying to be efficient on trades. His men at arms are going to be incredibly efficient. With the attack speed booster as well, they're almost on the level of HRE men at arms. <laughs> well, that HRE player. Has been taking a while to dent his opponent, but I think he's finally done it. Rift tool. I mean, there's just nothing left here. I think they're going to be the first player properly out. Like, bad, good dude could go out first, but obviously that player literally touched his CC and went, I don't like non-standard format and left. <laughs> Gully Deckle playing his best Sif life here has come back from beyond the grave after the early aggro from Kren to deal a destructive blow. Brent is rebuilding on the other side of this. Funnily enough, I actually don't think <laughs> Gully knows. Could you imagine if Krent rebooms and comes back as the fiercest force in this entire lobby with a vengeance? I mean, I'm half and hoping he's literally right next to update. It's not going to happen. But a boy can a boy can dream, right? Anything is possible in free for alls. Final landmarks been found. Riftle's been a bit annoying. I like that he's actually dented Core, so Core's not going to be able to snowball too much. But it is the end of the road. Now, Core has big problems in this game, folks. He has 34 eco at 18 minutes in. And he only has a reasonable amount of men at arms and spears. Nothing crazy. With only six workers on food, I don't think this Burgrave spam is going to be the unstoppable play that you're expecting this game. Rifter, we came back to try and clutch repair, but it's going to be too late. Purple is going to be taken out. Core knocks one off the board. Very important one as well. Like, look at the rest of the map and the breathing room that Core now gets. If he spots Teal as well, back-to-back -back kills. I mean, 20 villagers here. That's going to be a 1,000 food. Doesn't sound like a crazy amount, but for a guy who's Burgrave spamming, 10 extra men at arms, that's almost double what he has. Bill Highlight is not bad to destroy the buildings before. I mean, he's destroyed a decent chunk of the buildings. I think it's more that if he doesn't deal with this, remember there were lances riding around. So the reason why Korn needs him gone is the longer he waits, the more damage he takes to his economy. And that just puts him further behind the rest of the lobby. It's not, it's not worth losing all these villages when you need food in exchange for wood. Oh, look. You want wood, you say? Don't mind if I do. So these should, I wonder if they get, because some units are a bit weird, but I think that this should track correctly. He should be getting wood for these. So here you go. Whoop. Cha ching Wait, did he get double wood? Okay, no, it was just villagers were dropping off. That looks so dicey for a sec there. And he knows exactly where he is. So Hosin. <sighs> I, I don't. <laughs> I mean, even if the Deerstone lives, do you want to continue on in this game with no villagers? They've got the TC, I guess. Krent's officially out though, folks. Oh no, we missed it. Update came in. I thought he was going to let him exist, but that's not the case. Update now setting up in the northern corner, looking strong with the owls back. And I think Gully Deckle's dead, folks. <laughs> I mean, he got home blades just in time to die to mass crossbow Limitane. So Pink looking like he's swiftly going to follow suit here, going out in fifth. I don't know if you can really call what, what Teal was doing ranking right now. <laughs>
Cool's like, yeah, food! We're hungry! How do you pay for an army you can't afford to feed? Uh, you literally just say they can cannibalize the enemies, apparently. That's kind of what's happening here, isn't it? I don't, actually, no, it's kind of worse than that. It's some sort of weird Frankenstein episode. Gully Deckel goes out. That's going to be a GG over. So it doesn't even make the top four this time. <laughs> I feel like he did, but he didn't because Teal is still alive. Yeah, in a way, I guess Barney Everything is more like a Frankenstein episode. It's like, oh, we killed this. Rips the leg off and takes it back to base. We can use this to build our next soldier. Update. Who can actually beat him right now? Like, Recon is the biggest threat, right? But if I'm not mistaken, didn't update not... Yeah, okay, he's got Minute Arms in there. It's quite a lot of crossbows, but this is Golden Cuirass Minute Arms, right? Yeah, it's coming through now. Kind of spooky. I think update may have like miscued this though. You do not want to get the Golden Cuirass upgrade first. If you do that, it means that you Men at Arms will not have Golden Cuirass. Should you have killed Green when you passed by? Yeah, because Krenna actually killed someone last time. <laughs> he killed Lamax at the start of the game. So yeah. Yeah, he should have murdered his face. This Clash right here, though. Oh, the Lang's neck. Could this actually be good for him? Let's check the resources. I, I mean, food is good. I think the downside of this fight for for Core Long Term is when he runs out of gold, he's trading with a unit that's mainly just food. We highlighted this about Juji before with Shaolin Monks. Like, you'd think getting given mass amounts of food would be good, but in the late game, you need wooden gold. So if the wooden gold runs out, and Recon is trading for, like, you know, a bunch of food as well as wood. It's just a GG, and it is exactly that. Core gives up. Army reduced to practically nothing. No way of rebooming quick enough. Our central player manages to make it to the final three. I say final three, because guess who's still alive? <laughs> Come on, Teal. <laughs> Hosin only has a TC left here. They've got a grand total of three villages. Somehow they have 1,700 food, though. They're like, where there's a will, there's a way. Here comes the army. Update, springs the attack. Wow, Recon drained himself dry with that fight. Oh my god. Is Update going to just destroy him here? I mean, he's hesitant to take the engagement, but realistically, I, I don't know why. Okay, there you go. He hasn't upgraded the Horsemen of the Knights yet. Once this upgrade's come through, he should be feel very confident about taking this engagement. Remember, Recon is still in Castle Age. Hasn't gone up to him. Can't afford it. I think he actually needs a keep drop. He needs something to help him here. What do you guys think? Has the Trash Panda got this? Can the Trash Panda get it? Oh, and just to clarify for court, there are sheep on the map, but this is a crafted map, so they have specific locations. This was a map that Mr. Merlin made before he left. But you have to be quick, right? Because you've got eight players on a tiny map. There's not that much sheep to go around. I think it's like 20, maybe 25 sheep. So for example, a little tip, there's usually a lot of deer up here. That's why Update walled this area in. It trapped all the deer on there. There's like double deer stacked there. Another deer over here. I think there's one or two boars around. You can see there's deers at the back here as well. Um bunch of berries and deer over here and here. There's a decent amount of food on the map, actually. Where is Mr. Merlin? Uh, I don't know, off in Albion or something. He's, doing, he's like, I, I'm here to be a cook. Oh, hoo, 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 hoo. So, um, you know, he decided that he wanted to cook instead of getting spit roasted in free for alls. It's understandable. Shout out to Merlin. He did turn up for a few the other day. Hopefully we'll see the return of the kid soon. I mean, it's funny because he's not the kid anymore, right? Gully Deckel has taken his place. Oh, interesting. Gully said he got 23 last game. I'd have to do a check. I imagine it might be like 30, 30, between 30 and 40 on this map. Maybe it's more. I haven't actually done a full sheep count before. No, no, Voldemar is not the kid. He's the teen now. Gully Deckel is 15 years old. How old is Merlin? Uh, about half the age he looks. Wait, no. Other way around. Double the age he looks. Oh no! He found him! Who's in? Oi, oi, oi. Oh, apologies. Gully Deco's 16. Ah, that's, that's KP math for you. <laughs> Dude. 
<laughs> what is this recall? Just let him exist, recall. Because, like, I wouldn't want to get third. I'm trying to rack my brain over who wins this. Because, like, no one's built an absurd quantity of resources up. The only person was cool, but he's just very dead. Recon's army should be better at mass, right? Because he's building mass crossbow limitane. He's even adding a bunch of Rangian. Meanwhile, update went for an absurd number of horsemen here. I mean, if you can get a wrap, sure, but, like, limitane always make it difficult, right? I think positioning is going to be my cop-out answer here, right? The player who wins this fight is the one that positions better. Horsemen are going to peel off. I mean, Recon, what did he take up with in the end? Okay, he went Palestine school. Hmm. Interesting. I, I genuinely think the, the siege engineering is pretty good here. Uh, what Merc contract did he even get? Did he... Has he even been pumping mercs? Am I blind? Wait. He hasn't been pumping any mercs, right? Wait. How, how can you play Byzantines without mercenaries? Like, <laughs> has he been selling the olive oil? I think he has. He doesn't have a merc house. He hasn't even chosen a contract. What? Recon, what? Wh why? <laughs> how, how on earth can you have Golden Horn Tower and have not built a contract? <laughs> oh my god, Sister of the First Hill actually would have been good here. <laughs> Guys, guys, it's, it's the, the ultra long con here. All right, Recon is going to come back into the game late. <laughs> With Tower Elephants. Well, Gully, we were discussing this before. Apparently been tested, and if you... So while you can't get Olive Oil, I mean, you still have Olive Oil coming in anyway, right? It's extra units. And if your opponents kill those units, they don't get Olive Oil, they get standard resources. So, like, maybe Recon just felt like it was going to be a bad trade for him. But, I mean, extra units at this stage, man. It feels like you need everything. <laughs> I definitely wasn't expecting that. Imagine Lang Snake mixed in with all these spears, for example. Like, that would be crazy against this comp. Well, he can't build a lot of farms, but he can build some, right? So, he's still got, like, 240 olive oil income a minute. So, that's... Free lang snack every two minutes. Doesn't sound like a lot, but I, I think it is actually a difference maker here. And here we go. <laughs> he finally selected a contract, folks. It did take a while. <laughs> Rico knows he's here, but he just can't move the army. Has Recon also got Numiri? Numiri is such a big deal here. Okay, that's that's pretty rough. You've gone Cataphracts. The reason you go Cataphracts is Numiri. I think Cataphracts, I wholly believe that they are a support type unit. They're good for taking out Siege, but also in the Imp Age, this Numiri buff, adding 15% vulnerability on. Anyone who spent way too many hours in Diablo knows exactly uh, how important a vulnerable buff is. Kind of a mistake to not have that. Flash coming out in choke points as well. Uh, <laughs> Gully Deco's base is griefing right now. Horsemen engage with the spears. Wrap round on the flank here. Update coming in, but these are all men at arms. They are not Lang's neck, so not a quick cleanup on the crossbows. Recon down to 101 military. Meanwhile, update getting the worst of it. 59 military and shrinking. Great fight here from Recon. Manganels absolutely destroy this. And we have a problem, folks. Recon, look at the bank he made there. The food and gold reserves. This is going to be Varangian spam. Oh my god, update. Puts everything back into the men-at-arms, into the horsemen. But the problem right here is the amount of crossbows you're up now up against. These choke points are your own worst enemy right now. Great choice by Recon to fight on the remains of Gully Deckel's base. Gully might be out, but he comes in with the assist. The march in. Update. 
This is a slow reboom, by the way. How many Raxes are we talking about? Burgrave plus the Rax, that's eight. That's not fast enough. These men at arms take quite a while to come out, remember. 20 seconds. Oh man, he might be forced to fight sooner than that. Mango's moving in range here. Kyra Siphon's burning a lot of damage into the Elves back. Village is now being repaired, pulled for the repair, but remember the Mangoes are here. Clash into a choke point for update and the damage coming through. Mangoes completely being ignored. Colgrins will finally arrive to snipe them out. A back-to-back -back fight loss by the looks of the update here. Recon, I mean, on the front side of this, he's got about 60 pop. Update, half that to defend with. It's an absolute massacre and Yellow now barely holding on. <laughs> Can you burn quicker? I mean, come on. This influence is no joke, right? Like, look at how little damage he's doing. Villagers finally go down. Update. He's got 25 more men at arms queued up. I just don't think he can get them out quick enough. And no order the Dragon Archers coming out. Knight's also now being spammed out. There's still Limitane. There's Frang in here. Crossbows to assist. I mean, E repairs is going to slow this down. There's a lot being thrown in. Remember, whenever you dive an enemy base like this, these buildings are farming resources. For your opponent. But the problem is that Recon has such a big reserve. It doesn't matter. Just four Kara Siphons to slowly break this. And this time, E repairs won't come off cooldown quick enough. And the question has to be asked from the east when will Hosen ride in? When will the Wood Elves come out of their forest to assist the Numerians? I went there. I don't know why. <laughs> I've been reading too much Lord of the Rings lore at the moment. I think they're going to be too late. The alliance between Elf and Man shall not be on it. Okay, I'm going to stop with the Lord of the Rings references. The Empire will strike back great now. Star Wars <laughs> references. The Holy Roman Empire is nothing against the might of the true Roman successors. Recon. We'll get the win. Teal says, I'll take second place. Thank you very much. GG comes out. This is why I love Bounty Everything so much. If you are liking it, make sure you let me know. Make sure you turn on the streams because we're going to be doing a lot more of this in the future. This is by far one of my favorite modded custom modes we've come up with so far. And there's plenty more rounds to be played. See you in the next chapter.